Hi, Terry Franks here. Welcome back to my channel, Prescott Voice. Please don't forget to hit those subscribe, like, and share buttons. Be sure that your sins will surely find you out. What does that mean? As human beings, we live in a fallen world. Sin is crouching at our door every second of every day. We have a choice to sin. In fact, it's very easy to sin because that's our nature, our sin nature. We are all, we're born with a sin nature. We have three major enemies. The flesh, meaning our sin nature, the devil, Satan, and the world. The world is our enemy. Those are three enemies we are up against every single day. Now, the reason why I bring this up, your sin shall surely find you out. There's a young man here that was murdered at a Halloween party, October, 2023. And it's been a slow process to investigate this particular incident. There is a gang known as the Gilbert Goons, Gilbert, Arizona. This young man, whose name is Preston Lord, was murdered at a Halloween party by seven teenagers. Preston Lord was only 16. But what happened here is, is just mind blowing because these kids that beat him to death, danced on his body afterward, are now arrested and being tried as adults for kidnapping and first degree murder. Now what's even more frightening and more disturbing than that is that their parents tried to cover it up. Your sins will surely find you out. And that is exactly what's happening now. I am appalled. I am I'm angry that these parents were trying to cover up the murder one of the young men his name is Talon Renner, T-A-L-A-N Renner. Here's what he said about what he did. He sent, redacted, a Snapchat around midnight. He said in the Snapchat that he was drunk, got in a fight, and killed a kid. Then he wrote, quote, I got in a fight, a big group fight, and I accidentally killed a kid. I guess I'm just too strong. When I talk about teen, cognitive teen violence, these kids are planning these things. This kid was part of the Gilbert goons who would at, I don't know, parking garages, restaurants, wherever they could find some unwitting victim, they would choose him, pick him out, and just beat him bloody. These seven were responsible for fracturing skulls, breaking teeth, breaking bones, and really hurting young people. And this Preston Lord, well, he got the full brunt of what they were dishing out. And these, I, I have to be careful because I, it makes me so angry that these kids were so arrogant and full of themselves and so violent, so depraved that they thought that they could get away with this. And the parents, oh my gosh, they should be tried for negligence. They have blood on their hands. They have blood on their hands, just like these kids do. You know, I have been recording videos on Kaylee Gain and Mornice DeClue. What happened in that case is mild. Makes it look like a like just a little dust up compared to what these seven did. It, it, it's the police report itself was 1100 pages long. This Talon Renner that posted these vile things about the murder. I mean, no remorse. He's out there on social media bragging about it. He went out and played a football game after the murder. The parents trying to cover this up, and one, it is reported, one of the parents even tried, get this, 
one of the parents even tried to collect a reward, God sees all of this. He saw it all. He knows exactly what happened. Just like with Cain and Abel. That was the first murder. What did God say to Cain? Where is your brother? And what did he say? Am I my brother's keeper? I don't know where he is. But you know what God said? Your brother's blood cries to me from the ground. That's the way God feels about hands that shed innocent blood. So every one of the children that Abel would have had in the future, all of the progeny, all of the children, grandchildren, great, great grandchildren, all the way down through the ages until this very day, all of those are now on the head of Cain. All that blood on the head of Cain. So what do you think is going to happen with these seven? These teenagers are monsters. Absolute monsters. And what does that say for their parents? Depraved minds. You know, you can read this story for yourself, but I'd love to know what you think about these goons, and they are goons. They have been terrorizing Gilbert, Queen Creek area for a while now. And they just are so arrogant, full of pride, thinking they were going to get away with it. Well, guess what? I pray that justice is had for the family of Preston Lord. I can't even imagine what they're going through. It was because of them that these arrests were finally made. 16 years old, same age as Kaylee. He's dead. Do you know how often this goes on? I mean, this is just crazy. You can't call this bullying. It's not bullying. This is the, the intentional targeting of a victim by these kids, these goons, this gang. And that's what's happening today, people. That's what's happening to these kids because we aren't taking responsibility. These kids are out there and they're doing it all on their own, except that they have the father of lies, the one that comes to kill, steal, and destroy behind them, leading them as demonic army. That's what's happening. When are we going to wake up and know this, that everything that you see happening right now in the world, all of this evil, all of this violence is a manifestation of the supernatural warfare that is going on right now. We can't see it because we live in the physical world, but that is exactly what's happening. You can call it bullying. You can call it whatever you want, but that is exactly what is happening. And Satan would rather have you not know that. Satan, our flesh, and the world are three greatest enemies. What are we going to do about it? When are we going to be godly parents and teach our kids what the Word of God says? Oh my goodness. I am sick of this loss of life. I am sick of of parents that don't have, I mean, they were more worried about their businesses than they were about doing the right thing. Their sin has surely been found out. We all sin, all of us. I sin, you sin, we all sin. When I say sin crouches at your door, it is there always and ready. It's what we do with it. Do we repent? Do we turn? Do we, do we change? You can only do that through the blood of Jesus Christ. Accepting him as your savior, the man, fully God, fully man, that was sent by the Father and died on the cross for our salvation, our eternal life. And thank God we can go to him and repent because he died for every sin we would ever commit, past, present, and future. These boys here are in big trouble, and I would highly encourage you to go read that story. It just shocks the conscience that something like this could actually go on 
with wealthy parents that probably knew that their kids were involved the entire time. With not just this case, but others. There were some of these kids were already in jail for other attacks and other beatings they had done. These are brutal monsters and they deserve to go down. I'm just saying. Everybody, everybody deserves a defense. This, this is beyond the pale. Makes me sick to my stomach. Parents, you may have checked out. You don't know what the hell your kids are doing, but it's up to you, you, to make sure you do know. Guess who is going to hold you responsible for what your kids are doing? Jesus. You will stand before him one day and he will hold you to account. And I would much rather raise my kids in a godly home than face God's wrath because you will not be able to stand once his hand of judgment is applied. We can do better as a society, but maybe not. Maybe not. I would love to see it. More love. But the Bible talks about our love waxing cold in the end days. We are at, we are at a point now where things are getting really, really dark. And it's going to continue to get darker and darker. So wake up, know what your kids are doing and be a responsible parent or find yourself where these parents are. I don't know what else to say. Really, it's just another kid dead, senseless, senseless murder. And they're dancing on his body. <laughs> he died two days later after the beating, two days later. I can't imagine seeing, watch my kid die. <sighs> Please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.